cooking with Aubrey. Today we are going to make spring rolls but not like your normal spring rolls. It's gonna have like crap and stuff in there. It's gonna be like delicious and stuff. It's gonna be really light, a nice little snack. You can cut it into little circles and just have it as like an appetizer if you want. Like little individual like old derby type thing deals. You know what I'm saying? All right. I'm better at cooking than I am talking. Let's get started. going to do is cut up the cucumber. The cucumber is going to add a nice crunch. So there's going to be both cucumber and like red leaf lettuce to give it a little bit of a crunch in there. onion that I have sliced up here I am going to rinse it and the reason why is because whenever you're using onion without cooking it in a dish so in this case the onion's gonna be raw so anytime there's gonna be raw onion like salad or something you want to rinse the onion so that way you get some of that you know like that harsh onion flavor when you first initially bite into it and it kind of softens it a little bit um, so I'm just gonna rinse this under cold water and put it here with the cucumber. Isn't this container cute? It's perfectly divided in half. Thank you, Jordan, for this, by the way. And I'm just gonna line the bottom part here on this side of the container that I'm going to put the red onion in, in a paper towel. So that way, when after I'm done rinsing the red onion, it absorbs that excess moisture and doesn't get all gross at the bottom. So I have here the onion and the cucumber. I'm just gonna set that aside until we are ready to assemble the rolls. All right, first I should do the the meat. So for the crab, I'm using imitation crab because fresh time still don't have no fresh crab. Anyway, but this imitation crab is actually pretty good and it's honestly my guilty pleasure. Um, but it's simply surimi. I normally don't like imitation crab, but it's pretty good. It. I am going to cut this up into smaller pieces because we don't want big old chunks in our spring rolls, right? So that the red onion is sliced really thin so that way you're not getting like a huge bud of onion in your stuff. The cucumbers is, is cut pretty uh, a lot smaller too. So again, not the huge chunks. So same for this, I'm just going to run my knife through it. And then we're, I'm going to cut some cilantro and garlic and that's all gonna go up in them rolls. the crab, the cilantro, and the garlic in this bowl, right? It's all like goodness. Now, I'm on my last bit of my favorite mayo, uh, safflower mayo by Hein or Hain or however you say it. I'm going to use the last of it. Don't you worry, I've already have ordered more um, because I don't know what I would do without this mayo. I'd probably cry, you know? That's likely. Cry a lot, cry over everything. Now that I have scraped the hell out of this, it's approximately a half a cup. Don't worry, I don't want this um, crab mixture to be super like creamy. That's not the intention at all. It's more of just to kind of bring the ingredients all together because we're also going to have a guacamole in the um, spring rolls. So that will like do a fine job 
uh, having like nice creaminess like into it. So it should be fine. Of course we need some salt. I'm going to start with one. I'm gonna start with two teaspoons of salt. We can always add more, but we can't take out. Okay, and then this is optional. So I'm going to add some hot sauce. So this is truff hot sauce. I don't know if you've seen it. it kind of went like viral all over social media. Um, this is just the original one. My friend gave me like a, the white truffle one, the one that's in a white bottle. I actually prefer that one over this one. Um, the flavor's just a touch better. They're very both similar in taste, but that one is a little bit sweeter and be better for this flavor profile, but I left it at work because I wanted my coworker. Hey, Patty. Wanted Patty to try it. Um, so it's not in my possession at the moment. So this is optional. Now I do have the wonderful Brooke coming over and her hubby, hubby. Such a weird word to me. Husband. I like that word better. I don't know, I'm just weird. Anyway, so I'm just gonna put two teaspoons in here because it's for other people more than just me. So it's just more just to give it a little bit of flavor. It's not to actually make it spicy, but this is totally optional. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this. Oh, look how colorful this is. How pretty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can just tell by looking at it that it's going to be freaking flavorful. So this is perfectly seasoned. It's actually technically just a touch over seasoned. I intentionally added just a little bit more like garlic and everything in it because this is the only thing that's gonna have the seasonings in it. So it's also gonna be flavoring like the cucumber or the onion. There's gonna be other stuff in there kind of filling it in. So like if this is perfectly seasoned and then nothing else is seasoned, then you're now going to have an under seasoned spring roll. Does that make sense? Am I explaining that well enough? I don't know, but that's what's going on here. Please like, comment, subscribe if you are loving this video. And I'm going to be giving out free merch again. So if y'all want some free merch, if y'all already have free merch, don't be stingy and request more merch, okay? I love you, I'll send you more in the future, but we need to give a chance for some other peeps to get some merch. So yeah, so just comment down below whatever you want. If you're on the Facebook platform, it's easy to reach, I'll reach you. If you're on the YouTube platform, have a hard time with it, with connecting to you guys. So if you're on YouTube, uh, go to my Facebook page, all right? And go comment over there. Oh. Facebook community, do you mind going showing YouTube community some love? Cause like I don't give YouTube enough love, the love it deserves. So if y'all could like go over there and also like, like, subscribe, whatever. You're the best. I love you. Thanks. So here I have some red leaf lettuce. Now what I'm going to do, so I just like rinse this off and you know, with the water and stuff. And I just have paper towels on this plate here. Um, so that way it absorbs, you know, some of that liquid. And I'm just taking off like this, the crunchier part at the bottom, or you could like cut it out too, but I don't wanna. So I'm just breaking it off. The reason why is just cause you just don't want that huge old chunk in your spring roll, okay? So I'm just taking off all of this and then that's gonna be in here. We also have guac. Now I'm lazy too, okay? I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm lazy as well. You know, I'm, I'm a lazy person at the end of the day. Okay, am I? No, I say that a lot about myself, but I'm really not. Tangent, okay. So we're just gonna put this in the fridge. So this is gonna be the guac we're gonna use. It's actually called avocado spread. There's actually, it's just like avocado and lime. A little bit of salt and pepper, I guess. I was considering making guac, but I was in the store today and I was just like, I don't feel like making guac. Okay, so. I'm sure this is fine. Let's give it a taste. If it's not fine, I'm gonna beat myself up about this, but I should be all right. I think I've gotten this before from fresh time. Anyway, otherwise you could just use, get some fresh avocado. This is Gucci. We all good. I think we can start making the rolls now. Okay, so for spring rolls, we need spring roll wraps. And if y'all have never used spring roll wraps before, they're really not that scary. Oh, sauce. So I'm just using sweet chili sauce. I actually prefer the Maypoi brand, but Fresh Time doesn't have the Maypoi brand, but I think they're basically the same. I think I'm just accustomed to Maypoi, so therefore I just have a natural bias towards Maypoi, I don't know. 
what how you handle spring wraps is that you're going to um, soak it for about 15 seconds when it like so it becomes like pliable because right now it's kind of like a piece of thick paper almost and then um, you just fill them and you roll them and that's it okay so we're just going to soak these I'm trying to get everything like in in one shot you want to soak one at a time so they don't over soak oh you want to be careful once it starts getting really soft it will start sticking together okay so, can you still see? Yeah, ooh, look at that, it's kind of cool, right? All right, so you want to carefully, like, you know, like, kind of spread it out. All right. Woo, I haven't made one of these in a while. So the first one's probably gonna be a little, a little iffy. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, okay. The first thing I want to put down is going to be the leaf because, actually, I'm gonna put it face down because this is what you're gonna see, okay? So I'm gonna put it face down like that. I think that's too much leaf. This first one's gonna just gonna be an experiment, okay? So judge me all you want, that's cool, it's fine. <laughs> all right. The next layer we're going to do is going to be the avocado. So I'm just gonna put like, like just a good little layer in there, okay? And then I'm going to put the cucumber and the red onion. Mm, actually, okay. All right, we're gonna do that. So that was like, what, like three pieces of cucumber? Some red onion. I really like red onion. I love onion in general. Lastly, we're going to do the crab filling. Okay, so let's see how I did. So first you want to, oops, pull up the sides. Okay, like so, kind of like a burrito. Then you want to take the bottom this might be too much. Take the bottom. Oh, wait, maybe not. Oh, wait, can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Okay. This is a really sloppy first one. Okay, let's make a second one. <laughs> I have faith the second one will be better. So we just wanna soften it up. Okay, so I'm gonna try again. I'm not gonna use as much lettuce this time. It was too much the first time, I think. Actually, I know, I know it was too much. Okay, and now we're gonna do that avocado. Man, this avocado is not easy to spread on here. Work with me, work with me avocado. Should put it in a piping bag. Okay, I'm gonna chill out on the cucumber this time. We'll just put two this time instead of three. Actually, I want to, that was three. Three pieces of cucumber some onion, and then the filling. So I'm gonna pull the sides up. <laughs> Maybe I should've looked up tips on how to roll spring rolls before filming this video, yeah? And then wanna try to tie that. Okay, this one's better. This one's better. There's still a gaping hole, but it's better. Okay. <laughs> Third time's the charm for this one. I'm just gonna fast forward through it. You don't need my commentary. You've been playing my mind lately. Turn it around. Once I thought you were mine, baby. We're safe and sound. You got me. the charm I'm not gonna even bother trying to throw you the third time but I mean it's a little bit poking out right oh wait maybe well it's charm enough so not surprisingly my spring rolls didn't get like they're they're not the best I'm not gonna lie this is probably gonna fall apart as soon as I take a bite out of it um apparently 
I need to improve my spring wrapping skills. It's okay, at the end of the day, it's about all, all about how it tastes, okay? If y'all have any tips about how to wrap spring rolls properly without it like getting it nice and tight and not ripping, I was having a lot of problems. It's not as easy as it looks, all right? So I got that little Thai, sweet chili Thai sauce stuff. Um, so I wanna try it first without the sauce. I'm really not a big sauce person when it comes to dipping things because in my opinion, whatever you make should be properly seasoned enough to be good without the sauce. The sauce should complement it, not be the star of it. Okay. This is super yum. It's really refreshing. It's perfectly seasoned. There's just a hint, like a hint of spice in the back of your throat. Now, those of you who know me personally are probably sitting there shaking your heads laughing because y'all know how much I like spicy food. Okay. This is very, 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 very mild in the back of my throat. So maybe someone who doesn't like spice, this is spicy. I don't know. You be the judge of that. But this is really good without the sauce. Let's try it with the sauce before it falls apart. I like it better without the sauce, which doesn't surprise me. I'm not a big sauce person. The avocado sprite in there is a nice little, mm. Like it, it's so creamy that it helps cut through that hint of spice in the back of your throat. You get the beautiful crunch from the cucumber and the lettuce. And it's just really light and refreshing. Like I don't feel like this is super heavy. And there like, wasn't a ton of mayo in there. So it's not like really like creamy of mayo. So this is delicious. Definitely recommend making this. It's gonna take, if, if your spring rolls don't look good, trust me, mine don't look good either. They're effing disaster. You know, I'll actually take a little video for you guys to see how bad they are. Look how bad this is. This is all loose. This got sticking out. These, these are all really loose. It's sticking out. Like all of them are, none of them are superb. Um, but I love you. Um, I hope you love this. Y'all have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Should do this.